Mobius boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monolith. Supposedly, there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now, don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea. But you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. Zerg severely outnumber the Protoss forces. It is likely the Protoss will fall shortly. Ready. Well, here's the plan. Then we've got to get that artifact before the Zerg overrun the whole place. Armed and ready. Warning. Protoss stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. Ready. Incoming transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders. The latest word in Big Bada Boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the Marauders loose against those stalkers and you'll see. coming down to pick up the artifact. We got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan.
That's funny, convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. I caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time. Got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tychus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. I've been hearing strange stories from the crew of late. Unexplained noises, strange visions, voices in the dark. Rumor has it these things are haunted. Superstitious nonsense. These artifacts are completely inert, and they're contained down here in the lab. There is some trace radiation, but I don't see how they could affect things elsewhere on the ship. Heaven forbid we run across alien tech that messes with our primitive little monkey brains. Just keep a close eye on them, Doc. That Zerg woman seemed to know you. She really rattled you, didn't she? Me and her, well, we go back a ways. She was a ghost once. Back then, we were hooked up with Manx, and fighting to get rid of the old Confederacy. We made a pretty good team. What happened to her? She was a casualty of war. No offense, Doc. But I really don't like to talk about it. I understand. If you ever change your mind, I'm here. Right, 
it, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. I hear the mighty Jim Rayner's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around, and with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Redstone. Heck of a place. I ever mention how much I hate volcanic planets? Good to see you made it. They call me Taj. You help me mine the minerals I need, and I'll make it worth your while. What's the catch? Well, this place is a little unstable. The low ground gets flooded with lava every few minutes. Of course, that's where the richest mineral nodes are found. But that'll be no problem for a big, tough guy like you. Sir, I'm also picking up Zerg biosignatures on the surface. We'll need to spend some of what we mine just to defend the operation. The more we spend, the longer this is gonna take. Uh, lava and Zerg. Two of my favorite things. Let's do this. Lava's rising. Get those SCVs to high ground. Right now. Go ahead. In the rear with the gear. What's going on? I can't build here. All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Some friends coming to help you out. The doctor is in. Reapers. Reapers, you say? Hell, cowboy, we gotta train more of these guys. They're seriously badass. You want something? Certainly. On the way. Huh, that's all? Add on. Complete. What's it worth? Got something for me to kill? Oh, yeah, baby. Tosh sent you to help? About time. Let's finish up this contract and get the hell off this planet. I'm listening. Nothing I can't handle. Let's... Gonna have me some... Death from above. All right. Yes, indeed. Fair enough. Agreed. Done. Uh, sir, sir, uh, scanners show a large biosignature close to your position. A brutalist, I think. If you could kill it, that'd get my, uh, our research off to a flying start. All right. Base is under oh, attack. Oh, oh. Oh, Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. Oh, yeah, baby. Base is under attack. Yes, indeed. No, no, no. God Right by you. He is the coordinates of the nearest mineral nodes. Oh, 
song. This better be good. Go, go, go! I'm listening. Field depleted. Been waiting on you. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Nice work, sir. The payoff from Redstone really got us back on our feet. Why is that Tosh guy aboard? He wanted to talk to you in person, sir. Something about conducting more business ventures together. You do any digging on him? Of course. And he's no pirate. Rumor has it he's a renegade ghost. And until he vanished, he was one of the Dominion's top assassins. Now Manx hates him almost as much as he hates you. Well, I like this guy already. Just the same. We best keep an eye on him. Yes, sir. Donny Vermillion, UNN. Your first, last, and only stop for the truth. Tonight, our own Kate Lockwell uncovers a secret shadow war waged by our brave Dominion ghosts against a ruthless hidden enemy. Thanks, Donnie. I'm talking live with a specialist in the Dominion. I understand that you and your comrades have been against a group of... What can you tell us about that? Well, Kate, I'm not allowed to say much, but I can tell you that his allies will not 
We expect them very soon. I think we'll all sleep a little better tonight, knowing our Dominion forces are watching over us. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. You ever heard of a guy named Gabriel Tosh? Only rumors. Way I hear it, he was mixed up in some covert branch of the ghost program that produced some real scary badasses. Word was, Tosh snapped and went rogue. I'd play it real cool with that kind. He'd cut your throat soon as look at you. I've dealt with rogue ghosts before. It's the one still working for Manx so I got a problem with. Just out of curiosity, I did some tests on the minerals from Redstone. I thought you should know I found trace quantities of Jorium, a rare crystal with very unique properties. I'm all ears, Doc. What kind of properties? Jorium resonates at the same frequency as certain brain waves. It's been theorized that it could be used to stimulate brain activity or even produce psionic abilities in human subjects. What the hell does Tosh want that for? Ah, he is the man. We make a good team, me and you. Why are you here, Tosh? Our business is done unless you got something else for me. Yeah, I got another job for us, on a world called Belshia. Interested? Maybe. But what's in it for me? Piracy ain't exactly my chosen path. Everyone knows Jim Rayner wants to put the hurt on Mengsk. I can help you with that. I can help you big time. I'll think about it. For the time being, welcome aboard the Hyperion. We'll talk later. There's a rare gas on Belshir, the Protoss skull, the breath of creation. They think it'd be a gift from their gods. <laughs> we call it Tarazine, and it'd be worth a fortune to the right bidder. Of course, those Protoss will kill us if they catch us on their holy ground. Or, oh, at least they'll try. Here we go. Much prettier than Redstone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazine is sacred. A gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal'Darim bring in their air power, they're gonna hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti-air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy. I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Tarazine? See those altars? Tal'Darim mystic set him up to collect the Tarazine. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Terrazine. We just gotta keep them protected. With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Tal Darim find us. Alright, let's get to it. What's going on? for the Terrazine sites, brother. These should make our lives a little easier. Our SCVs can pick up Terrazine canisters and move them. It'll take them a while to disconnect the canister, so make sure you watch out for them. SCV ready. This land was sacred to the Talbarim before Terrans ever reached the stars. You must depart immediately. Hold on now. 
We just need some of this gas here, and we'll be long gone before you know it. No. You shall not defile the breath of creation. Calorie warriors. Execute all those who would desecrate our altars. The Protoss are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the Terrazin. I suggest we only harvest one side at a time and run with a heavy escort. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazin altar. Wonderful. Taldarim are sealing off the Terrazin altar so we can't get at them. They keep it up. We won't be able to collect enough. Boy. Go ahead. You gonna give me orders? I've got the first canister on hook, sir. I'll take it to the nearest command center. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Good job. That's the first canister field. CVs. Shoot them down quick, or we're finished. You gonna give me orders? Who wants some? You and your radar sure can walk the walk. We just need one more canister. These reckless terrors must be stopped. Slay them all. That's fine. The doctor is in. state our welcome. Sir, 
I received an encrypted transmission from an untraceable source. It claims that Tosh here was part of a classified operation called Project Shadowblade. They used Jorium and Terrazine to enhance ghost powers. It's true. We are called Spectres. Next generation ghosts. And you were gonna tell me all this when? We all have our secrets, Mr. Rena. Doesn't mean I'm any threat to you. Maybe not. But whoever sent this message could be. Matt, any way to verify the transmission? No, sir. But it does end with... I'll be in touch soon. It's Minsk. Trying to turn us against each other. Don't let him. I'll let it lie for now. At least till I find out who sent this transmission. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, Tosh. You can try. I repeat, death toll is in the thousands. A Dominion weapons plant exploded hours ago, causing a chain reaction that has taken out several housing complexes in this working class neighborhood. Dominion security forces claim it was an act of terror by the notorious Jim Rayner, but our own investigations suggest that the plant must have been infiltrated by forces with sophisticated stealth technologies. It begs the question, could some of the Dominion's ghost operatives have gone rogue? For UNN, this is Kate Lockwell reporting from the Core World Nefor 2. Still don't trust me, brother. Until you decide. Eat nothing to discuss. That Tosh is a whack job, Jimmy. Spends all his time muttering and playing around with those damn dolls of his. Well, I need someone to balance out your sophistication and good manners. The guy ain't riding ahead, brother. I can appreciate some good honest craziness, but that guy, he's got something broke inside. Lots of folks ready to fight for the right price. I've run a few tests on the terrazine gas like you asked. It's clearly related to Vespine gas, but there are some very exotic organics added into the mix. Any guesses what it's used for? Well, it would definitely affect brain chemistry, so it could be used as some kind of drug or stimulant, I suppose. Drugs, huh? That's just wonderful. What do you make of that encrypted message, Matt? I honestly don't know, sir. If Tosh really is one of these specters, it's clear Manx would try to ruin your partnership. But Tosh isn't telling us everything. If we're going to win this revolution... I know. We have to be sure of our allies. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding an orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. 
Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Solendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base area. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. I've located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the Purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the Purifier. Some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. Not enough minerals. Sir, the purifier has arrived and is on the move. The purifier is coming into range of a colony base. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Commander, a Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Transformation systems primed. Ready to plunder. Burning. Our allies SCV are ready. ready. Oh, want a piece of me, boy? Thanks, Rangers Raiders. We're getting out of here. Right. Made for battle. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the Purifier's path. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. The Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. This better be good. By 
by the numbers, boys. Warning. Protoss Squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. That was a close one. Thanks. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. Almost reached the next base. Hurry! They'll fire on the settlement any second now. Get clear! Sure thing. This better be good. The doctor is in. Ready to blunder. Warning. Rotar Squadron detected, approaching the final colonist settlement. Ready to blunder. Thank you! Those Protoss almost got us! Excellent work. The colonists in that settlement have been evacuated. Go, go, go! Additional supply? Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. Another Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. By the number, this better be good. Aye, aye, sir. You got it. You gonna give Additional me supply depots required. You want to be. Mineral fields depleted. Estimate Protoss arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Fire shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. In the rear with the gear. Gangway, coming through. Ready to They're blunder. ready to fire their planet cracker. Ready to blunder. We've got to stop that ready purifier. Mineral field depleted. Not enough minerals. Mineral field depleted. Ah! You scared me! Fight or flight. Uh, the purifier sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The effect should only be temporary, though. They're heading to the last base. This is it, boy. Protoss are retreating! You've done it! You are as cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated.
guess this is goodbye, Doc. I know you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know, you could always stay here. Settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN headquarters on Korhal. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, there, is the feed open? Hi. Uh, yes. Hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. Branding themselves as rebels. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who were scared about the current crisis and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim You Rain heard it here first. Ungrateful rebels digging in their heels across the fringe worlds. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. Can he warn me when he's gonna do that? Funny how people take it personal when you abandon them to the Zerg. Damn shame Doc Hansen stayed behind. She was just about to fall for my roguish charms, too. You ain't gonna tell me you were just a little bit tempted to stay with her, are you? I've been down that road before, Tychus. I took my shot at a normal life a long time ago. Ain't no going back now. <laughs> Couple of badasses like us ain't cut out for the quiet life anyway. Yes, sir. Destiny's got us pegged for something way bigger. Man, did you see the size of that Protoss ship? Don't matter how often I see him. Those guys always come out with something that makes your jaw drop, you know what I'm saying? I'd be more impressed if they were using all that power against the Zerg. It's stupid to be killing Protoss when we should be teaming up with them against Kerrigan. Listen, they deserved it, and you did the right thing. Friends don't let friends massacre civilians, Jim. I'm proud of you for standing up to them. received reports of a new Dominion salvage operation on Tarsonis. They're running a large number of supply trains with minimal security. If we intercept the trains and liberate their contents before they can be shipped off-world, we could make a serious profit. Never thought we'd be back to this graveyard again. What have we got, Matt? The Dominion's restored power to the old rail network. They're using the trains to move salvage to a central processing station. Our informants say the Dominions found something unusually valuable, and they're transporting it to the processing station today. It's on one of these trains, but unfortunately they're all scan shielded so we can't tell which one. We'll have to hit as many as we can and hope we get lucky. Hope we get lucky? That ain't the usual Matt Horner plan. You got a better one, sir. I'm all ears. It's all good, Matt. You sold me. 
Well, let's go rob ourselves some trains. Old Tychus is gonna love this one. Big job. This better be good. Not enough minerals. SCB ready. You got it. Roger that. Sir, it turns out there are a few Confederate vehicles in the hills the Dominion haven't salvaged yet. Diamondbacks. Man, I didn't think they made it past prototyping. Their rail guns will be great for stopping those trains. No pun intended. I'll upload their schematics to our factory network. There may be other vehicles around that we can commandeer. We should keep our eyes open. Waiting. Watch the plan. Ready. Victory is ours. enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. What's going on? SCV ready. Yeah, yeah. Excellent work, sir. We can utilize the train's scrap payload to build more units. We obviously won't find many natural mineral fields here, so we should make the most of what we can salvage from the trains. This better be good. Go ahead. SCV ready. A train is coming through the Western Tunnel. Check it out, Jimmy. Dominion started sending escorts to protect the trains. I'm waiting. Not enough minerals. Commander, I'm picking up increased comm traffic from the Dominion. Sounds like they're planning to attack our base. You better be ready. Get me out of here. Not enough minerals. A train is exiting the southern tunnel. What? The Dominion are constructing a series of bunkers to protect the tracks. Be careful. At the ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like we found all the Confederate Diamondbacks, sir. This should really help out against the trains. <clears throat> what? Oh. what needs killing? Sir, I'm detecting Dominion kill teams patrolling the tracks with large groups of marauders. What's the plan? I'll mark their location with a red warning symbol. Still, you should try to avoid them. On the move. train speed somehow. You'll need to use Diamondbacks to catch them. At the ready. Mineral field depleted. Sir, one of the trains got through. We can't let too many get past us or we'll miss the cargo we're looking for. Of course. On the move. A train is exiting the southern tunnel. Looks like the Dominion ran out of whatever they were juicing the trains with. They're putting out bigger escorts, though. We better watch ourselves. What's on your mind? Detecting electrical activity in the wreckage. Now let's see what they were so fired up to get their hands on. Well, I'll be. Better adjutant. Intel's so important to go and dig her up to recover it. Sir, that adjutant we recovered is down in the lab. She's all powered up. Talk to me, old piece of junk. What do you know? User identified. Rainer, James, ex-marshal, Marsara colony. Joined Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Enough about me, darling. What else you got locked up in that synthetic head of yours? User status, criminal. Access denied. Playing hard to get, huh? We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, each night I bring you the news in the most fair and balanced manner possible. But tonight I have a commentary. Some have asked me what the difference is between our leader, Emperor Mengsk, and the traitor, Jim Raynor. They point out that Mengsk rebelled against the government of his youth and came to power through the use of violence and subversion. Why is it wrong for Jim Raynor to rebel in similar fashion? There is a difference. When Emperor Mengsk began his revolution, there was no threat hanging over humanity. James Raynor is waging his revolution while we are at war with two alien races. James Raynor, have you no conscience? Shouldn't you fall in line, putting your petty complaints aside as we struggle for humanity's very survival against this alien menace? 
Everyone's a critic. Robbing a train again get you feeling nostalgic? Damn straight. We must have hit the Shell Express a dozen times back in the day. <laughs> oh, that keeper never got old. Almost got us killed when they smartened up and started using Outriders to chase us. Never was a man of them could keep up with you on a vulture, Jimmy. Just add it to the fun. How the hell you got a job as marshal after all that? <laughs> I'll never know. I've been looking for an encryption expert so we can access the adjutant we recovered. No luck so far. Colonel Orlin at Dead Man's Port can crack anything. Haven't been back there in a while. Say, didn't you end up getting married last time we were there? I told you before, if I knew what the prize was, I never would have joined that card game. There's just something about a lover's reunion that chokes me up. <sighs> We still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Murk Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. Dead Man's Port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Colonel Orlin's sure taking his time decrypting that adjutant for us. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Incoming transmission. James, Orlan decrypted your adjutant, but he's planning to sell it to the Dominion. Must have been something exciting in there. He, he wants me to keep you off his back until they arrive. That's nice, Mira. But why are you telling me all this? Because I like you and Matthew better than him, of course. Match Orlan's offer, and I will help you take him out instead. He's paying in minerals, so I'll give you the same deal. Done. Always a pleasure, Mira. Don't take too long now. If Orlan comes up with the goods first, I will have to side with him. Oh, and um, say hello to Matthew for me. Ask him why he never calls. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to get minerals down there. We'll have to find salvage if we're gonna hire Mira before Orlin does. You think she'll help Orlin, sir? She's a mercenary. She'll help whoever pays the most. Bad news? All right, boys. We got a deal with Mira Han. Now let's get to work and get that adjutant back. Pirates have been stripping down ships here for years. It should be pretty easy to collect enough scrap to pay Mira off. I left a little present out here for you and Matthew. I never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy. Are those vulture bikes? Good eye, Tychus. We can use them to lay mines around our base to hold off Orland. Add on, not enough minerals. Those shredders are constantly producing scrap we can salvage. We should check this area again later. No. 
Forces are yours, Jim. I'm so glad I got to side with you and Matthew. Oh, scheming little! I'll show you what happens to double dealing backstabbers! Present headed your way. I'm waiting. This better be good. We could use some help here. Let's have a plan. Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, we dug you up on Tarsonis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus Mex being involved? Mex, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, 
civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group. Status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission, 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're gonna use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it. We can nail Minx to the wall with this. Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you can call them that. Of course, most folks like the bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart ass swan. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tolosky's film highlights the seeming... convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes! I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? I gotta know, just what was it went down between you and Manx? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Manx be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line, by using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn, you sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. that was ever raised against Minx is pinned up inside those walls. We let all them prisoners loose, and he'll never know what hit him. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. Where's Tosh? I thought he'd be here by now. 
He already left the ship. I thought you... Sir, we have an incoming transmission. It's highly encrypted. Patch it through. Well, well. The infamous Jim Rayner. My name is Nova. We should talk. Now what would one of Meg's pet ghosts have to say to me? Tosh is lying to you. Get Tosh on comms. I'm sure he's listening in anyway, encrypted or not. We Spectres be the future. You just couldn't handle it, little girl. Every ghost that became a Spectre has gone on a psychotic killing spree. The ones I've captured are held in New Folsom. Don't listen to her, brother. Help me bust the Spectres from New Folsom, and we'll bring down Minx together. Tosh wants to reactivate his Spectre buddies, using the substances you helped him collect. New Folsom is full of psychopathic killers. Do you really want to release them into the galaxy? I be helping you against Minsk, and my people will too. She won't even join you. He's a psychotic time bomb. He'll be on your side, right up until he puts a knife in your back. This be the moment of truth. Make your choice. You should have told me what you were really planning, Tosh. But I'll take your word over Dominion Assassins any day. We've come this far together. May as well see it through. You've made a poor choice, Mr. Rayner. I know I could count on you, brother. Now let's go and bust open New Folsom. Uploading New Folsom data now. Feast your eyes on this, brother. They're locked down tight. Nova must have tipped them off. We're gonna need an army to break into that place now. Even an army couldn't get you in there. But one man, one Spectre in the right place, can find a way in. Then our progress is all up to you, Tosh. I'll push my boys as hard as I can, but they're gonna need your help to gain ground. Sure, you sit back this time. I'll take the lead and clear the way. Just keep sending troops to keep the pressure on, and I'll do the rest. There are two cell blocks containing military prisoners outside the main compound. If we break those open, we could probably count on help from the inmates. What else? There's a Dominion base right by the main prison entrance. Take that out and the guards will retreat. The prisoners can handle it from there. All right, Tosh. You ready for this? I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm ready. Maybe yes, maybe no. Extinguish the flame. Let's just see about that. With my cloaking abilities, I can take out all these guards. They never see me. I can use a psionic explosion to take out groups of marines. A little trick I call Mind Blast. The turret across the bridge. It can see me and alert its allies if I get too close. Even with my stealth. Quiet. Hang in there, Tosh. My boys are moving in to back you up. Remember, just keep sending in troops, and I'll do the rest.
First military cell block now. Releasing the prisoners might buy us some allies.
while we establish our forward position. You're close to the second military cell block, Tosh. Feel like making some new friends? Don't you worry about us, Tosh. We'll keep them busy while you free the prisoners. are being attacked. Now those boys are free, we can bust this place wide open. Great job, Tosh. Tosh, we got a nuke ready for launch. Paint a target. Just don't call the strike in too close. Damn. 
Street.
50 years, and no one's ever escaped from New Folsom. But we broke it open in an afternoon. I can hardly believe we pulled it off. You guys did good. Now me and my specters will finish the job. We'll kill Minx and burn his dominion to the ground. Overthrowing Manx is just the start. This is about building a better tomorrow. Don't you see? We just released every scientist, philosopher, and free thinker that ever challenged Manx's rule. That was our real victory today. You really that naive. Tomorrow there'll be a new Manx, and another one after that. Great shining dream, but a future is just an illusion. So if it's all so bleak, why are you here, Tosh? What do you get out of all this? Same thing as you, brother. I don't quit till Minsk is dead. Vengeance doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us. Breaking news. Reports coming in today suggest... What's that? We're, go, we're going to Kate, but I... The Dominion's highest value prisoners are loose tonight after a daring raid broke open New Folsom Prison. Dominion security forces are on high alert as some of the prisoners were former members of Project Shadowblade, which we've discovered to be a subversive offshoot of the Dominion's ghost program. A number of political dissidents were also freed during the attack. Do we know who did this, Kate? Was it Rayner's Raiders? The evidence we have suggests it was, Donnie. There you have it. Jim Rayner, making our world just a little more dangerous tonight. From the UNN Studios on Core Hall, I'm Donnie Vermillion. More dangerous for the real bad guys, Donnie. You should be worried. We can't go Thought you'd want to hear. Tosh is officially thrown in with our little revolution. He's gonna lend us his specters to help out. You sure got a soft spot for wayward psychics, Jimmy. Setting those freaks loose ain't smart. Old Manx got him locked up for a reason. Manx locked him up because they were just weapons to him. They deserve a shot at living their lives outside a cage, just like anyone else. I took a big chance with you and your specters, Tosh. I hope Nova wasn't right about you. <laughs> Don't go believing that little girl's lies. The Spectre procedure affects everyone differently. But we're all still human. It's our choice whether to become Spectres. Not hers. Not yours. Not mixed. Choice be the only true freedom anyone gets. But can I trust him? Can I trust you? Don't you worry, not. He'll fight for you right to the end. All my brothers and sisters, we owe you everything.
That Tosh character gave me the data for building more Spectre gear. You sure we can trust that guy? I heard he was into brainwashing or something. Tosh can only recruit volunteers to become Spectres. That's the deal. He works them hard so they won't go off the rails when they get their full Spectre powers. No brainwashing involved. Good to know. Wouldn't want any of those freaks running loose causing trouble. Aside from Tosh, that is. Most days, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just chasing my damn tail. No. We followed your lead from the start. It's your sense of justice that's kept us on this road. Matt, my interest in justice burned out a long time ago. I've spent my whole life fighting. I've killed. I've ordered good men to their deaths. And for what? Finishing this thing with Mengsk. It's all I have left. It's guys like you that'll build something better after all the smoke clears. That's because you gave us something to believe in, sir. I'll never give up the fight. That's a promise.